Hey guys! Fun fact for everybody watching right now, this section of floor that I am currently sitting on is the only section of my floor that is not covered in stuff. Anyway, this week's topic, though there is quite a bit of confusion on this, is in fact how you became a nerdfighter. As John suggested in his video, I do believe that it would be a very good idea for the people who accidentally talked about how they became a nerdfighter last week to talk about topics this week while the rest of us talk about how we became a nerdfighter. Now I've always been quite a nerdy person. I've always been very bookish and I've always been really into fantasy things. I've always been into all the stereotypical nerd things. And it wasn't until pretty recently that I got into things like Doctor Who and all those other nerdy things that Nerdfighteria has introduced me to. Harry Potter, however, definitely into that before Nerdfighteria. When I first got onto YouTube, I primarily used it to look up lyric videos, to learn the lyrics to songs that I like, because I have a problem where, with certain singers, I cannot figure out the lyrics on my own. But after a while, I started stumbling upon YouTubers like Fred and Shane Dawson. I also enjoyed things like Charlie the Unicorn. For a while I was pretty into Fred and then I realized how stupid it was. And then I was pretty into Shane Dawson until I realized how stupid it was. And Nigahiga and all of the YouTubers that kind of make videos like that. Which leads us into how I became a nerd fighter because one night Stevie was sleeping over at my house and we were talking about YouTube and she assumed that I was into YouTube the way that she was into YouTube and I didn't really correct her because you know when you first start becoming friends with people you're kind of a little bit more worried with trying to make them think you're cool than you should be. So upon not correcting her she started talking about the Vlogbrothers and I just kind of nodded my head like I knew what she was talking about until the next day when I started watching their videos and oh my god am I glad that I did. And it took me about a five or six videos to the side, that I was more than likely a nerd fighter. And after that, I just became very into the vlogging world, and it was an amazing experience, and it made my life all happy and shiny and great and stuff, and I'm really appreciative for that. In the time since I became friends with Stevie, I have developed this awesome thing about myself where I don't nod my head and agree just to feel cool and in the loop, which is good. Because it's just silly. Stevie's totally still would have been my friend if I didn't know who the Vlogbrothers were. And she would have forced me to watch them that night, which means I would have been a nerd fighter like a day faster than I actually was. So yeah, to answer the question of how I became a nerd fighter is simply to say I became friends with Stevie. Can't wait to see everybody else's videos, can't wait to hear topics from Victoria and Daniel. It will be spiffy and all that stuff. Though Daniel did already suggest topics, so I think it would be acceptable if he didn't talk about topics specifically, but you know, if he could come up with a couple more, that'd be super awesome. And speaking of topics, everyone should check out the list again as topic videos come in or now, if you haven't checked it out since I put it up initially, because things have been getting added to it, and if you would like to talk about those topics sooner than they're appearing, since, you know, we're talking like June before you get to the things at the bottom of the list, um, just let me know and I'll move them up. But yeah, that's all, and I'm super glad that we're on a regular schedule. This is really awesome, and it makes me really happy. So, yeah, that's all. Bye.